SP Marketing Portal Overview and Demonstration. In marketing, one of the challenges is there's lots of stuff going on. Keeping track of content, the website, social media, campaigns, collateral, and other things is always a challenge. Additionally, everybody's always asking for different things as well. Sales and other parts of the organization, your internal customers also are constantly having questions, looking for the latest version of something, price list, whatever it might be. And that's really the challenge with marketing. Now, one of the issues is there are lots of tools out there for marketing to use, but that's what they are. They may be bulk email tools, they may be social networking tools, they may be graphics tools or website building tools or any number of tools out there. But how do you track everything? How do you manage every aspect of marketing to make sure things aren't falling off track or tasks aren't being done or projects or even just making sure that the uh, latest resources and collateral and content is available to people without them having to call you and ask you where it is? Well, that's really what SP Marketing Portal is all about. It's about pulling together all of this and giving you a place that you can manage all aspects of marketing. And not really just as a standalone marketing management portal, but really as part of an overall organizational structure anchored by an intranet with digital workplace tools from SP Marketplace. It allows you to change your Office 365 and SharePoint into a digital workplace. And that makes everybody happy. Your internal customers, your team, they can all be the most productive and collaborative and information sharing as possible to make the organization a success. SP Marketing Portal is part of the SP Digital Workplace Solutions. You can purchase it separately or as a suite with the solutions. They're all built on Office 365 and SharePoint and are 100% customizable, no-code solutions. So let's take a deeper look at the marketing product. SP Marketing Portal hangs off the intranet in Office 365 Digital Workplace Solutions from SP Marketplace, or it could be your intranet. It's really two portals in one. There is a My Marketing Service Portal for your customers to come in and get the things that they need to do their job, as well as there's a Marketing Staff Portal where your team works together in managing all aspects of marketing. So if we take a look at this a little bit deeper, we can see the intranet, obviously, as many intranets do, have, is an organizational hub really for your news announcements, collaboration, uh, blogs, events, and so on, things that you probably work on from marketing. Um, the Mar My Marketing Service Portal is a place where your customers can go, almost like a bank branch for services, to get the latest news events and announcements from the marketing group. They can also submit service requests because there's a help desk system built into it. They can see the status of their service requests. This eliminates a lot of the phone and email type of chasing around that might happen today. There's a knowledge base for self-service and an FAQ that they can answer their own questions and a resource center where they can find the latest collateral, images, videos, uh, or anything else that you may need them to be able to see uh, and make sure they get the latest versions of. Then the marketing staff portal is really where the work is done. There's a lot of portal content management, managing what goes into the My, Mar My Marketing Service portal. There's campaign management, social media management, uh, press re uh, public relations, content, collateral, media, as well as managing where all of those are and developing that. There's website management, change management of websites, vendor tracking, contacts, track service requests, manage projects, and have collaboration integrated with the 365 groups for planning, calendars, task tracking, and so on. So it's a complete solution, and when it's bought as part of the SP Digital Workplace Solutions with the intranet, Many of the things you do here can automatically be published up to the top level as well. Let's take a closer look at the marketing staff portal. It's actually made up of several functional workspaces. There's marketing operations. 
that's where you're going to manage campaigns, contacts, all the different administrative things that you might be doing. There's service request management, where you can actually assign the service requests com that come in from the service portal. Social media management, managing blogs, managing content, managing uh, changes and posts and so on to social media. There's website management. Again, managing content, managing change requests uh, of the website and some of the website development. And finally, there's a My Work workspace as well. And this is where you can actually, as a one of the team members, see specifically just those tasks assigned to you, any service requests assigned to you, or uh, be able to get at different things in Microsoft Office, like groups and planner and discussions and so on. It's all integrated together. So let's take a look at SP Marketing Portal in action, in a demonstration. So I'm in my Office 365. You can see my mail and calendar is here. I can actually get to the application right from the app launcher in Office 365. It's all integrated with Office 365 platform and the services around it. So this is the staff portal. So this is where most of your team will do its work. And we can see that we can actually see all calendars. This happens to be the social uh, media calendar, the campaign calendar, and events calendar. And you can overlay them on top of one another. Here's service requests. I can look at contacts, knowledge base at any time. We have a document center, which we'll, go, we'll take a look at. So which allows us to get to not just documents, but all media easily and search for what we need. We can take a look at the employee portal and see what also is in the employee portal um, res resource center. Um, also, I have team links right here. So I could go right into Office 365 groups. I could to look at our Delve board, planner projects, teams as well. And then also I've got other things like marketing news right here, marketing events and what's going on there social networking calendar, any latest operational documents that's going on, and any service requests that have come in, as well as I can see my tasks uh, in here too. So this is kind of the front page for this. We've also got links to the different tools we use, so uh, bulk email, um, our analytics, some of the uh, graphics type tools, and our website tools. You can put any uh, links that you need in that links area of tools. So let's go take a look at one of the other kind of workspaces um, that we have here. And the first one we'll take a look at is marketing operations. Now this workspace is really where a lot of the planning and management of the different things going on happens. So for instance, in here we can get to um, you know, all calendars, events calendar, and so on right here again. But we also can manage things like software directories or product directories that we're uh, posting our products in, um, expenses we can track here related to campaigns, web forms for your website if you're using, say, um, uh, different types of web forms out there that you've got to track, task tracking, even merchandise that uh, you may make available like, you know, company shirts and stuff people can order, and even mailing lists and man managing those too. Uh, but the main feature here is really the campaign list. And so here's all the active different campaigns that are going on. And within each campaign, there is tracking of documents, events, and tasks as well. Um, and we can go ahead and see any of the, the events calendar, the social calendar here. But really, this is where we're tracking campaigns. So let's take a look at um, one of these campaigns. I don't know what this crazy campaign is, but let's take a look. Now, a campaign is kind of the top-level program, and you can have multiple activities going on um, in a campaign. And so you can have different types of campaigns, start dates, end dates. It does roll up expenses uh, that are added to the campaign. And here we can also add a new marketing event. This could be an email campaign or um, some other type of thing. could be a press uh, type of thing. When we say events, we're not talking about a big event. We're talking about an activity. There's also the social media side of it. We can add new items to that. We can create tasks as well that relate to this campaign so that we can track what's going on. Any documents related to this overall campaign and any expenses too. And those expenses are all rolled up to the campaign themselves. So these are all separate lists that we're keeping things on and it all rolls up to the campaign. And then we can do reporting on any of these as well. 
So campaigns is kind of the main area here. And let's uh, take a look at how you might create an event under this campaign. All I have to do is say add new event. And this is where I could go in and say add in a uh, direct mail campaign or a bulk email online campaign here. And I can put in, again, information about that, what type it is, and even capture details back. So number sent, expected leads, open rate, all of that um, is related, as well as budgeted cost and actual costs. So the activities, we actually can take and track a lot of the information that you may want to report on as well. So this is really at the heart of the marketing ops area. Now, available in each of the workspaces is the Document Center. And this is really where you can go in and do things like um, find different uh, media, operational documents, uh, style libraries, mailing lists, uh, marketing documents that are published. These are the ones in process here, too. And we can go in and search for anything that we want. So let's take a look at, for instance, uh, media. This would be images, videos, and so on. And uh, you see I've got an images folder, and you could have a folder for each different type of media if you wish. And again, now I can go in and see all the different things. And a lot of times, there's a lot of images out there. And you can do things like search for something. So I could go in and search for um, perhaps a um, man out there type of thing. And here's everything with a man in it. Um, you can also put hashtags on this so that you can find things that are hashtag used in the website, hashtag icon, uh, or something like that as well. So, for instance, if I wanted to say, find everything that is an icon, I can do that. And again, you can even track where these are being used. So it really is great for uh, managing content, documents, all different types of things as well. So let's go to a second workspace. That's our social media workspace. And this is where um, anybody working on blogs or posting on social media using tools like Buffer. Uh, we also can keep track of account access into different tools and so on. In the document center, we can actually put content in. So we can actually access and see the social media calendar here. We can compare that to the campaigns calendar as well. And we can even keep track of social media tasks. And of course, we have feeds from different social media um, areas such as LinkedIn or Twitter uh, as well. So this is really for specifically managing your social media and putting things out there. The next area is the website workspace. And there's a lot of management of things that go on with a website. So we can actually go in and see website change log. Looks like there's no items in that today. Website content library here, style library, and tasks related to the website as well. And again, we have web apps out here that we might be using in uh, the process of managing and updating the website. And uh, so again, this is a place where you can get into uh, tracking changes and making sure that everything is up to date uh, on the website and that you have all content you need um, to build website pages and maintain them. Also, there is access to analytics related to that. And finally, in the staff portal, you're going to see the service request central. And this is where you can uh, see service requests that are coming in. There's dashboards as well as a um, marketing dashboard uh, as well, and a knowledge base and so on. So we can see that there was one that came in that is unassigned. We could open that up, assign it, track it, and it would keep the uh, requester up to date via email automatically too. Now back at Marketing Home, one of the things I uh, didn't show you here was also everything can link into Power BI. You can actually bring Google Analytics into Power BI. You can track leads and campaign information as well, and even drill down on different things too and go into detail. So it's a great way to track performance of your initiatives out there and see how they're doing linked right in with SP Marketing Portal. So at this point, let's take a look at it from your customer's view, your internal customers, and what they would see. This is the My Marketing Portal, Employee Portal, which is your services portal that you present to your customers. In here, they can submit service requests. They can access the knowledge base. 
um, you know, request merchandise as well. They can also see marketing news, any event information, even the status of any service request that they put in. Now, the other thing that's really great about this is the resource center. And the resource center is where you can present what you want to make available to your customers. So collateral can be found here. Um, presentations, sales presentations, images, logos, uh, white papers or other collateral as well. They can search the resource center for anything that they need. So this really makes it easy to provide the latest versions to anybody and allow them to find it for themselves. Really self-service to save you time from having to always look up things. They can also see the latest uh, type of things going on in your blog, in um, your different social media right here too, and go right to your website. So this has really been kind of an overview. We didn't get into a whole lot of detail, but there is um, much more behind this. Uh, and as I said, you can get out to any of the different Office 365 uh, areas here. You can also track um, tasks and uh, collaborate via Skype for business. It's all integrated here. So if you want to get a handle on everything across all of your marketing from a management and administrative perspective, SP Marketing Portal is what you need. Thank you for taking the time to view this overview and demonstration of SP Marketing Portal. You can learn more or, or really dive into detail by arranging a live demo for you and your team. Go to spmarketplace.com, go to products and the SP Marketing Portal to see screenshots as well as get more information on the product itself. You can also request a live demo there. Thank you for taking your time.